It was about just being the healthiest version of me, so it wasn't about size or a number or whatever. Girls today, we encourage so much diversity, but women have always been diverse. It just hasn't been acknowledged and it hasn't been accepted. Women find their strength, their superpower together. And that's why I think women are leading the climate movement against the climate crisis. And I just want to acknowledge that and applaud it. Join us in celebrating 10 years of 100 women on BBC World News. Hello, I'm Marianne Mashiri. You're watching Outside Source. Air raid sirens sounded, but the Kremlin has been informed. President Biden brought a message of solidarity and defiance against Moscow. Russia's aim was to wipe Ukraine off the map. Putin's war of conquest is failing. The results of these visits will undoubtedly be felt on the battlefield, strengthening our troops and liberating our territories. The American leader's visit comes days before the first anniversary of Russia's invasion. But what will its impact be? Also on the programme, British police confirm the body found in the river is Nicola Bully, who went missing last month. Fractious scenes in Israel's parliament where members are debating a controversial overhaul of the country's judiciary. We begin in Ukraine, where US President Joe Biden has made a surprise visit to Kyiv, his first trip since Russia invaded almost a year ago. Speaking alongside President Zelensky, Mr Biden said Russia's war in Ukraine is failing and Vladimir Putin have been wrong to think Russia could outlast Ukraine and its allies. Putin thought Ukraine was weak, 